Hey there, it's Brooks here from documentsnap.com and today we're going to talk about how to control what Windows search is searching for. So we're going to talk about controlling which areas of Windows get searched, which type of files get searched, and how to generally speed things up a little bit. So what we want to do is we want to find the indexing options and indexing is what what we use to tell Windows what we want it to look for. So we're going to go down here, we're going to click on the start button go to control panel and we could dig through these menus but I find it easier just to type the word index here and right here you can see the first option says indexing options change how Windows searches so we're gonna click there and right away you can see here that it shows us what areas of Windows are being searched so indexed means Windows is keeping track of the files and different pieces of content that we have on our computer so it can quickly find them. So right now it's searching our Internet Explorer history, Microsoft OneNote, our start menu, and our users folder on our computer. But we can change this by clicking here on the modify button. Where this really comes in handy is when we have things like external drives that may not be picked up by Windows Search by default, but we can go in here and tell it to search for them. So up here in this top section, we're able to change where Windows is searching. Now it's a little misleading because it looks here because our C drive is unchecked. It looks like our C drive is not being searched. But in fact, if we click on the triangle, we can see here when I scroll down that it is in fact being searched but it's only searching our users folder and this is handy because we don't want to search our entire C drive because that could really slow things down but let's say that we want to have this book folder searched so we can just click that checkbox and you can see here down at the bottom now the book folder is going to be included in Windows search where it wasn't before on the flip side, if there's some folder that we is currently being searched that we don't want it to search, either for privacy reasons, we don't want certain uh, files showing up in searches, or just because we don't want it slowing things down, we can drill down to the folder that we want to exclude. So let's say we don't want this JY folder searched. We can uncheck that. And that will tell it, you can see here, that JY is being excluded. So once we have things how we want, we can just hit OK. And now we can see that these folders are being, and these areas are being searched. There's more control that we can have though. If we click on this advanced button, there's a bunch of things we can do. There's a file setting section here. And for example, if we're using something like BitLocker or other Microsoft supported encryption, we can tell it to index encrypted files. They may, that might be turned off by default, but we can enable it if we want that to be the case. You can also treat similar words with diacritics as different words, diacritics being um, those accented characters. So for example, the way that Windows Search works by default, if you have a a word with an A with say an accent in it, Windows will treat that the same as that same word without the accented character. If you want it to be treated differently, you can check that box and, and Windows will treat them as two different words. I'm gonna come back to this rebuild index in a second. Uh, we can also control where the index is located. I don't recommend messing around with this, but if you really need know that you need to move it, you can move it. And over here on the file types tab, you can see here that all the different types of files that Windows knows about, we can control whether Windows will search for those files or not. So for example, let's scroll down to, P, to the P's and we know we definitely want it to be searching for PDFs. So if we click on PDF here, you can see I have it checked, which means Windows is going to search for it. 
but we want to make sure that it says index properties and file contents. So not only is it looking for the the name and date and that sort of stuff, the properties of the file, but it's actually looking inside for the content. So if there's a type of file that you have on your computer that's not being searched and you want it to be, you can type it in this list and hit add. And on the flip side, if Windows is searching for files that you don't want it to find, you can uncheck it from this list. Now I'm going to flip back to the index setting tab here for a second. If you find that Windows search is not working the way you expect, it's not finding things that you think it should, or if you've made a change to that file types tab, what you might want to do is click this rebuild button. And what that's going to do is Windows will then go through and look at your entire hard drive and redo its index. So it will take stock of all your files. This takes a while to do, so it's not something I recommend you do on a regular basis, but as a troubleshooting step, or if you change this file types tab, it can be handy to do that. So that is how you control the search and indexing options in Windows. It can be really handy for speeding things up if you want to stop it from indexing files that will just slow things down, and it can be handy for adding files that aren't getting searched that should. For more Going Paperless tips, head on over to documentsnap.com. Thanks.